So in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the SSD on your ROG Ally. Now, before we begin, make sure you are on the latest BIOS or you may face issues. Now, if your Ally is turned on, just press the start button and power it off fully. Once it is fully powered off, we're going to make sure we have the correct Philips screwdriver and that is Philips 1. And as you can see, my one says PH1. If you have a different size, you may strip the screws, so make sure it is PH1. So we're just going to turn the ROG Ally around. And what you can do is place it on the desk and start unscrewing. But what I'm going to do is just keep it on my left hand a bit firmly and then take off the screws. So there are a total of six screws. The bottom middle screw is not going to fully come off, so don't try to take it off. So I'm just going to speed up the video here. And the bottom two screws will take a bit longer than the top three screws. So once that is done, you can see the bottom screw does not come off. And next we're going to get a pry tool. So in my case, I have a iFixit knife. You can use a guitar pick, but I'm going to go with this iFixit pry tool. So we're going to try to find an opening. So near the L button, there is a gap here and I'm just going to insert my pry tool here and just wedge it very carefully and we should start to open it up slowly. So that is done. So what we're going to do is go to the opposite side and again do exactly the same and it comes off relatively easily. So we're going to open it slowly and work our way around the bottom and the rest of the shell. And that is it. It just comes off easily. And again, you can see that bottom screw is still there. So I'm just going to place this on the desk and bring up the ally. And here we can see the battery cable. And one thing I want to mention is that the ally won't turn on at this point as there are sensors which prevent it from turning on. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to unplug the battery cable. And it actually comes off quite easily. And this is the SSD screw. And we should be able to use the same Philips One screwdriver. So I'm just going to place it down on the desk. And then lift this flap slowly. We don't need to fully take it off and just start unscrewing. Make sure you don't put in too much pressure as we don't want to strip the screw. So that is off and as you can see this is a completely different size screw. Next we're going to lift that flap again slowly and try to carefully take out the SSD. So what you might want to do is just use your nail on the top and just force it down slowly and it should unclip. And that is it, that is out. So this is the Micron SSD. So I've got a anti-static wrap which I have from my other SSD and I'm just going to put it in here to keep it safe. And I will also keep this SSD just in case I need to do a RMA in the future. And here is my aftermarket one terabyte SSD. We're going to lift the flap again and we should be able to see contacts there. And then make sure it is firmly in place and it should just clip in. And then the SSD uh, cutout should be flush with the screw hole. And I'll just bring it up as you can see. And then again put it on the desk and get the SSD screw. And then screw it in. And again I'm going to make sure I don't put in too much force as I don't want to strip this screw or I can't upgrade the SSD in the future. So with that screwed in, we're going to put the battery cable back in again. And it goes in really easily and I must say I am so impressed in how easy that is compared to the Steam Deck which was quite a chore. 
so now we can just put the back show back on so we're going to make sure everything is aligned and then we can put some pressure on and close the shell and work our way around it until we hear clicks on every side so once that is done we're gonna get the uh, screws and drop them on each of the holes and we're gonna start screwing them and again the bottom two screws will take a little longer Now with it fully assembled we need to boot into BIOS so if you press the power button now you'll see that the ally doesn't power on don't panic all we need to do is plug in the power cable and you'll see the LED indicator now theoretically if we press the power button now it should automatically boot into BIOS as there is no OS installed but if not press down the volume button when powering it on this bit could take a few minutes so just be a bit patient and then eventually we will boot into the BIOS now the first thing you want to do here and this is very critical is that you need to set the correct date and time so on the top just press on the date and then make sure you put in the correct date and then set the time and then select save next we want to go into the advanced screen so we're going to press y for advanced mode then on the top we want to go to the advanced tab and you can see on the top it says aces cloud recovery press the a button and we'll be at this screen here so at this stage you will need to connect to your wi-fi network and I'm just going to cut out my credentials here and then it's, it's going to start the cloud recovery process and you'll see many prompts and this screen as we go on so we're going to agree to the agreement here and then it's going to start downloading a few files this can take a while I'll just cut it short here and then we're going to continue we'll see the windows logo here then eventually it's going to come back to the cloud recovery page and if you want to back up your files you can click on ok but i'm not going to be backing up anything here and again we need to download and for me this took about 45 minutes it could vary on your download speed so I'm just gonna cut this bit out and we're back on the recovery page and then, then it should reboot and again this part can take a bit of while and I did shorten as I went on And it'll automatically boot into administrator all you have to do is press ok to this prompt and it will restart again And then we're back on the default setup so this is quite self-explanatory you would do exactly what you did when you first had your ally and I'm just going to skip to the account creation so I want a local account so I'm just going to create a bogus email address and then for the password I'm just going to type in some random stuff and click on enter you're going to get a message saying something is wrong and create a local account and I'm just going to call it ROG Ally and for the password I'm just going to press enter as I don't want to create a password right now I can do that later 
and then just continue with the setup prompts until you boot into Windows. Once we're in, I'm going to long press the taskbar and go into the taskbar settings and I'm going to enable the keyboard to be always on. There will be an icon on the bottom right hand corner. Next, I'm going to open up the Microsoft Store. And the very first app we're going to install is my Asus app. So with this, we can download all the necessary updates for the ROG Ally. So let it search and then click on download. Once it has finished, we're going to open it and then agree to the prompts here. And then click on the middle tab for live updates. Agree to this message. And then agree again. And then one more time. And then we're going to see the updates here. And I'm going to tap on update all. So this could take a while. And again, I will cut the video short. Once everything has downloaded and installed, go ahead and restart the Ally. And the final software to install is the Armory Crate. So press on the button, you'll get a prompt to go to the website. Under OS, select Windows 11. And then we're going to scroll down all the way to Software. Then click on Show More. Then scroll down to Armory Crate. Click on Download. This shouldn't take too long. Once it has finished downloading, click on open, then double tap on this file, then click on yes, and then go ahead with the installation. So this could take a while, I have shortened the video here. Once it has finished, click on reopen app. and then go through the final prompts. It's like a short tutorial. I have sped up the video here and that is it. The Armory Crate is installed and you are ready to go with your ROG Ally. So that wraps it up for this video. If you have found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. So make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And like always, thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.